if you're looking to do something different for this Easter, then I got the theme for you. Check this out. I'm getting ready to show you just how easy it is to make garlic butter lamb chops. Let's get it. Okay, so look, as you can see, not a whole lot of ingredients. This might, I say that quite often, but this right here might be the least amount of ingredients, you know what I mean, for the flavor profile that we're gonna get from these lamb chops. I promise you, just what you see here, and what's gonna be really, really key is, I'm gonna start right here. That's just salt, you know, that, I got kosher salt, and then we use that fresh ground pepper, right? I probably shouldn't have said it that way, because listen, all of this is key. Uh, I'm going to work from this way. Look, I got regular olive oil, which I'm going to bring this over here on this side. Well, this is actually a representation of regular olive oil, but we'll talk about that in one sec. Right now, I'll just show you. Look, we got thyme. We got butter. Right here, we got garlic cloves. You know, I got my press. I told you, this makes me smile, y'all. And then this right here is my uh, rack of lamb. Hey, listen, it's a little bit more expensive than, you know, our traditional meats, you know, things like that. But check this out. Look, it's Easter time. This is kind of like a staple. You know what I mean? You can go uh, lamb, you can go ham or whatever. But look, I just want to like level up, give us some options. And if you have never, ever made it, when I show you this, you're going to be like, man, I did not know that was that easy. Hey, with that being said, let's get it. Okay, so look. You just saw it's not that many ingredients, right? So listen, I don't want to over talk it. We finna get right into this. And when I tell you it's super simple, that's what it is. We're gonna trust this process. Now, I'm gonna go ahead. You wanna start, make sure you get yourself a, you know, a sharp knife, right? I'm using my meat slicer. And okay, so before I do that, I wanna tell you guys, look, I opened it about in a package. You know, I rinsed them, got them nice and clean, and then I patted them dry. You wanna make sure that they dry, right? Just like you see here. And then I come over here, you can see this part right here is gonna be the fat cap on this side. But we just want to make sure everything is nice and dry so that we put them, you know, our salt and pepper on there. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to take this, take my slicer. Now, look, I want you guys to see. Obviously, we got bones, right? So it's me in between that. You don't want to cut right up against this because that's going to make it. Ah, uh, I don't like that. That's gonna make it, you know, like super thin on, on one side. I like to find the middle, like you see right here. This will do it for me right here. And then I just go ahead and give it a slice, but we are gonna start from the top part. That was just for demonstration on, on purpose only. Now, just take it like this. Then we just work our way down. Now, take a look at that right there. That right there, that's nice. I'm gonna just set that here. We are gonna go ahead and cut another one. I'm not gonna bore you. I just want to show it to you again so you guys can get it. If you stand it up, you got this here. Let's just call that about, that's about an inch and an eighth, but we'll just say an inch, right? You just want to meet it right there in the middle, you know? Then we just take it and you let your slicer or your knife just do all of the work, right? You'll feel it'll cut straight on through it like butter. Oh yeah. You cut through like a little piece of bone down here on the bottom, but it, it cuts just fine. If your knife is sharp, there you go. Now look, take a look at this one. This one look a little better than that first one. Ah, we call them twins. But this right here is fire, folks. Now, let me go ahead and finish these up, get these cut, and then we move to the next step. Okay, so look, as you can see, I got them all, you know, I got them all cut, right? These are some nice looking ones too. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my salt, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just salt these just like you see right here. Now, I'm gonna take my black pepper, and we'll just start adding some of this onto it also. Now, one of the things that I didn't say in the very beginning is, when you're doing lamb chops or anytime you're doing uh, anything in a pan like what I'm doing right here, you wanna make sure that your meat is at room temperature. You know, that's key. And I'm gonna try to explain it to you right here so you guys can, for those of you guys that don't know, you know, what does it do? Listen, check this out, when you're searing meat, and your meat is cold, you're gonna have to sear it longer to get the inside to cook. Does that make sense? 
So if it's at room temperature, meaning the center is not so cold, right? Everything room temperature. So when you sear, you achieve your color, then you take it and you flip it over. And that right there is like the key. I see a lot of people, like even when I'm over somebody's house and we talking, they like to take everything out, hurry up while it's cold and then go right to the pan. You know what the proper way is to let your meat get to room temperature. Now, with that being said, let's flip these over. And then we're gonna let these sit, sit up with the, you know, with the salt and pepper on here, right? We're gonna let that just sit up however long it takes for me to get this pan, my cast iron skillet up to temp. Okay, so those are cut. Now let's go ahead and get some heat in this cast iron skillet. You know what I mean? So look, that's a high flame. Uh, I just reduce it down to about a medium high. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top. And what we wanna do is we wanna get this nice and hot. Notice it's dry right now. I just wanna get it nice and hot. And then we are gonna move on to the next step, right? But meanwhile, look, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so look, I got these two products right here. These are uh, by Branch and Vine. These are like major level ups. Take a look at this one right here. You see this? This is just the garlic infused olive oil. And then on this side right here, just a new one, which is the butter flavor. This right here, ooh my goodness, folks. It's up to you what you guys wanna do. You know, you can use this to put a little bit of the oil in there, because we all know we put that oil in there, then we put the butter on top of the oil, right? And that'll keep the butter from uh, burning, as long as you don't have it too hot. These are just options. I just got this here. You guys are gonna start seeing me to cook, start seeing me cook a lot with uh, Branch and Vines products. Listen, I don't get nothing from it, you guys. I read a couple of comments, they said it seemed like, hey, I only push products that I think that are great. It, when I do something and then, you know, somebody asks me to do something, I'll let you guys know, hey, this is a paid sponsorship or something like that. But as of right now, me and uh, these products right here, they fire. Now, we gonna multitask. We bringing the cast iron skillet up to uh, heat. Hey, let's get a couple of sprigs out of here. You don't need a lot, you know, and these are fresh. I'm gonna get a little butter. Where's my garlic? Got my garlic right here. Got my press. Hey, it's about to go down, folks. I'm about to be happy. Okay, so now, look, take a look at this real fast before I even start. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's starting to smoke, right? That's what I want. So look, I'm just gonna drop it down just a tad bit. Cause look, you gotta remember, it's dry. Now, if I was using these Branch and Vine products, I would have dropped some of this in there, you know what I mean, after I started searing. But you wanna grab yourself one of your lamb chops, you wanna take it, look, just the, the cap side, right? We gonna use this, and we just gonna let that sear just like that. We wanna cook some of that down, right? I'm gonna grab another one. I'm gonna come back, and I'll put that right there. Oh yeah, they standing up nice. So when you cut them right, and the fat cap is right, they kinda like stand up on their own. They kinda stay flat. Now, it's a method to this madness. For this here, I'm gonna go ahead and take the fat that renders down from the fat cap, and we are gonna use that along with just a splash of, maybe a splash of some of this oil, and we're gonna go from there. Okay, look, they've been on about two minutes. Now I'm just gonna check them. And then I noticed, look, if you guys didn't notice, when you first put meat down, you know what I mean? When it's ready to be moved, it'll release itself so there's no stick. So obviously when I grabbed it just now, when I look at it, not even before I look at it, but when I grab it, it doesn't stick. You see that right there? I like that, but I'm gonna let it go down a little further. Let's check this smaller one over here on this side. This right here is what I'm looking for, folks. Okay, so look, you guys can see how I just seared the cap, kind of like cooked it down. You can see the color where it started going. That right there is fire, folks. Now, I went ahead and I took most of the oil out. It's a little bit in here, enough to coat the bottom. And we finna just go ahead and put these in there and start searing them right now. You can hear it instantly, instantly that it's ready to go. Now what you wanna make sure of, you wanna make sure they flat. That's all I'm doing, I'm not mashing them down, just making sure that we got full surface contact on the other side. Now we only gonna let these sear for about, I'm gonna say about two minutes, and then we are gonna flip them over. Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. Okay, my timer just went off. Alexa, off. Now we are gonna go ahead and just go ahead and give it a flip. Oh yeah, folks, this right here. Hey, you don't no longer have to go out to these uh, restaurants, you know what I mean, and get yourself your favorite chops. You can make them right at the house. Okay, now look, I reduced my heat down to like a, a like a, I'm gonna say like a, a medium low. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a couple of tablespoons of butter in here like this, right? This is where it get a little fun. 
Look, I'm gonna add, you know, a little bit of my thyme because we want that butter to be infused with the thyme. I'm gonna grab my press. And we're gonna start making, you know, pressing this, getting a little minced garlic in here with it also. Now, you wanna go ahead and just make sure all this is infused, right? This right here, it's that fire. Now we're gonna take a little bit of this and we're just gonna, let's do it this way. We'll just go like this. And we just baste it, just like you see. Now it's up to you guys how you like for your meat to be. You get yourself an instant read, but the people that's gonna be eating these right here, they don't like it to have no red. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make it as close as I can to that, but I gotta eat me some too, you know? But look, check this out. Ah, yeah. Turn it back around. Turn the fire off. And let's hurry up and get these off of here now. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this in here like this. This is one of the thicker ones. We can look at the thermometer right here. And this right here, I'm, I'm liking what I see. 136 is holding that. And we are gonna let it rest for about, I don't know, about seven to eight minutes, but I'm liking this right here. This one right here got my name on it. Okay, so here you go. I want you guys to tell me what you think about that. Now, they've touched, I mean, they've, they've cooled to the touch. I'm good with that. They rested about eight minutes. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and just take them. I'm gonna grab this one right here because I think I'm gonna use this one for myself. I'm gonna grab this other one. You know, uh, maybe we'll just do something like that. Now, you see I got mashed potatoes because that's more more so, you know, like traditional. I wish I could have had made some, uh, some spinach because I like it to have spinach with mine. But we're gonna take that. I'm gonna get me a little parsley. You know, give myself, you know, give it a few little sprinkles. You know, just liven it up a little bit. You know, make it look a little better. Now you guys can make any kind of sauce you would like. You can actually take some of that fat if you would like to, you know, and sprinkle that over here on that also. But this right here is just another option, you know, to put something out to change up from that same old, same old. Now, I want you guys to let me know what you think in the comment section below, but look at this right here. Oh yeah, look at that right there. Hey, and the presentation is fire too. You know, lamb chops, it's Easter. You got this out. Look, everybody's happy, now let's eat. Okay, so here it is. I already took me a thumbnail, you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut me a slice. You know what I mean? We'll just do it like this. You know what I mean? I'll just go ahead and just take it like this and you guys get a chance to see. I've let it cool, it's cool for a while. You know what I mean? But I just wanna go ahead and just open it up like this. This is perfect for myself. For you guys that want it to be a little bit more on the well done side, you can do that also. But I can tell you, either way, it doesn't make a difference. This right here is perfect for myself. Now, I'm gonna do it like this. I like to get a little bit of this, you know, a little bit of these mashed potatoes. Grab it here. You see that right there, folks? Let me get it right here for you. Ah, yeah. Hey, all I can say is, Happy Easter. Regardless of how it looked like I was cutting it, oh man, your teeth, you ain't never had lamb chops. This is it, you gotta try it. Hey, <laughs> all I could do is laugh, especially for, to the ones that has never ever had, there's a lot of people out there ain't never had lamb chops. Hey, taste them, tell me what you guys think. You know what, you can make them medium rare. I ain't never heard of no rant lamb chops that are rare, but I can go the medium rare, uh, I can even eat a medium. I just don't like them when they're all the way fully cooked, like well done. Hey, now with that being said, listen, basting it puts a lot of flavor in it, and then as it relaxes, you know, as you're letting it rest, look, the muscles are real tight in it, right? They start to relax, and then as they relax, it lets the juices go back into it. You're gonna see a little juice come out as you let it rest anyway. But listen, after it, uh, I just said, look, like me, I did mine for eight or nine minutes. 
do them exactly like that and then just tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below how you guys like your meat oh also let me know this you like lamb chops or do you like pork chops and if anybody been following me for a minute you know what my favorite is so you tell me hey so with that being said listen if you're new to my channel let me just take this time to say hey thank you for watching this video don't forget to like smash that subscribe button and hit that bell right and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and i got people in the back simulating like they're applauding right now because they ready to eat and we about to all get it i'm out of here peace